back to my channel. Today I am going through my February favorites. I have started doing this this year um, and just picking instead of a whole face or a whole bunch of products, kind of just thinking back to the month and what products really stood out to me and that I really just either couldn't stop using or just really enjoyed and wanted to use here and there or I'm trying to look but they are all beauty related. I didn't have any um, lifestyle. I do have a favorite food or candy, but I think I'm gonna save that for my empties because I ate it all. And I don't wanna like talk about, the th I know I talk about a lot of things, doubles and triples sometimes. So there would be a candy in here, but I'm gonna save that for my empties. I'll be filming soon. <laughs> so let's just get into February favorites. I am so excited February is over. I know it is one of the shortest months, but I feel like it's one of the longest feeling months because it is so cold. I do have a daughter's birthday. We have Valentine's Day. Um, so it is kind of a busier month, I feel. So I'm just happy that we're now into March, getting ready for spring break, and then getting ready for spring. I just cannot wait. So let's just get started. I do have two, four, Four makeup, one hair care, one skincare. So let's start with the skincare. First is the, or my first favorite, is the Misha Soft Finish Sun Milk SPF 50. I did get this on Amazon and I've had it for quite a while and just kept forgetting to try it or use it. And so I started using it probably the middle of January and then obviously I've continued to use it since then. And it really is a beautiful sunscreen. I will say that I was worried you wouldn't get very much being that it's very little. You only get 70 mils for us US people. Here's ounces. Or do we do mils? I feel like I know ounces more than milliliters, so. For whoever's like me, there's the mountain ounces. Anyways, it's not very much, it feels very small, but it's been lasting me, like I said, a week and a, a week and a half, a month and a half already, and I still feel like it feels very full. So it is a very thin consistency, like it says sun milk, so it is very, very liquidy. As you can see, it's just dripping right down my hand, but I wanna say it just, smooth and it doesn't really have a sunscreen smell. Now it smells like, I don't want to say it smells like the beach because I feel like when you say that then it has that sunscreen smell, but it smells, I don't even know what that is, but it smells like something outside, but in a good way, not like dirt, like, you know. Um, but it says soft finish, and I will say that I do feel like it doesn't blur your skin, but it definitely gives it a nice, like, I don't know if you can, I almost dropped that. I don't know if you can see, this is the one it's on. Do you see how it just looks? Um, and maybe it's just in my head. This one looks red and a little rougher, and this one just looks soft and white or cream or blurred. I don't know what it is, but it is so pretty. The smell is unique, but it doesn't smell. I mean, I would say it's probably natural. I don't want to say there's any agnid fragrance, but I'm not sure. It's a Korean product. Obviously it's by Misha. I just think this is so, so good. And I want to say it was like 10 bucks, 10 to 12 bucks on Amazon. And obviously you get it in like two days. So I think it is just one of the best sunscreens I've used in a long time. So that's not a very fun product and probably either is this next one, but let's just go through it first. This is the a hair product. It is the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. So I haven't really been into the Olaplex trend that everybody seems to be using. Um, I do really want to try their hair oil. I just haven't. And I don't remember why I got this, but oh my gosh, it makes your hair so soft. So you don't need a lot, which I didn't realize. So I was using probably enough for someone like, if you guys have seen my daughter's hair, she has a lot and it's long. And I was probably using what she should use on my 
like five strands. So you don't need a lot, which I found out, and you also aren't supposed to use it every day. It's more like an every other day. And I will say, I don't put it in clean hair. I use it on the day after, and then like I said, every other day. It makes my hair so soft. It makes my hair look healthier, shinier. I don't even know what is in this stuff, it just says leave in reparative styling cream, eliminates frizz, hydrates, and protects. I would definitely say it eliminates frizz and I would definitely say it hydrates. As far as protects, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know, we'll see. But it says strengthens. Um, you can do it in damp hair or dry hair. I haven't really used it in damp or wet hair. I've used it just in my said, second day hair and on. And I love this. Not only is it like work rate, but it smells. I love the way it smells. I don't know what that is, but I love the way it smells. So good. And it's not too small. I know like I said, I was using way too much, but I think with me using a pea size amount, this will last me for quite a long time. Highly recommend that. And I wanna say it's like $28, so it's not too expensive. It's definitely not cheap, and you're only gaining 3.3 ounces or 100 ml. Anyways, highly recommend that. If you haven't tried Olaplex products, um, I've just been kind of not really interested until that product. And again, not sure what made me buy it, but I am really, really liking it. So, all right, last is makeup. I only have four makeup products, but these are makeup products that I feel like the month, that's all I wanted to use or um, they just really stood out to me. So first we'll start with the primer and it is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really started using this to um, kind of fill in my texture. I have a lot of texture around my mouth from acne and acne scars and I feel like this does a really good job in filling in those spots a little bit. I mean nothing's gonna make this look perfectly smooth but I feel like it helps smooth it over before I put foundation on it. As you can see, I've used almost the whole sample, probably half of it, and it's just kind of a, um, how would I explain that? Uh, it just It has a unique texture, because it's not gel, it's not lotion, it's not silicone, I mean, may have that stuff in it, but it, it just feels smoothing and kind of like a putty, and it is, a, it is like the e.l.f poreless putty um, and I would use that for the same thing that I use this but I really just used this this last month and that's the only reason this one would, is in this video but I really really like this highly recommend if you haven't tried it to go try that out the other thing is another Misha product and I would not I would be lying if I didn't say that this was probably my favorite of the whole month and it is the Misha BB cream in Perfect Cover BB Cream. It has SPF 42. This stuff is amazing. I am seriously do not know why it took so long for me to try this. I've been watching Jessica Braun for years and she has always raved about this. And I just, I don't know, it's not even expensive. It's like 10 bucks on Amazon. I think it is probably the most beautiful foundation I own. It is not full coverage, but it definitely has a lot of coverage in it. It is just so pretty. I would say that my Fenty Hydrate Foundation, I can't remember what it's called, I'll put a picture over here, was probably one of my favorites. This has bumped it out of there easily because I am almost out of the Fenty one and I was, <clears throat> and I was panicking that I was gonna have to rebuy that because I don't wanna be without that. But now that I have this, so much, I don't wanna say better, but it, because that one really is good. But this one, for the price, it makes this one better. I feel like they're very equal. But this one's better only because the price is 10 bucks, but that one's 30 something. So this is just so good. If you haven't tried it, or you've just been kind of not, you wanna try it, but haven't reached out and done it, do it. I don't think you'll regret it, it's so good. I did get the number 23. I think next time I wanna to try to get the number 21, and I think that might match me a little bit better, but this one works fine. I, I love it. I, if you like BB creams, you need to try this because that, I am blown away at how perfect that is. 
All right, the next thing is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. This is my sample size. I do already own it in the full size. This is literally almost out. This is so good. I can't even get over the fact of how wonderful this is. Better than any powder product ever. Like the way this goes on your skin and then when you blur it out and it just makes you look so healthy. And I mean, I don't know if you can really, it says contour. I feel like it's too uh, warm toned for me to be a contour stick, but I think it is so pretty as a bronzing all over my face type glow. So pretty. I, this is what got me into cream contours or cream bronzers and this not one has beat this. I do like the milk one. I do like the physician's formula one. I do like the, um, nude sticks one is great what else i think i have one more oh the fenty one is great but nothing nothing has beaten this one period hands down i will say the fenty one i like the color a little bit more but the formula of this one is just so much better but i think i just i love them all but this really has been a highlight for february i used it a lot of the month even the weeks when i didn't choose it i would pull it in once or twice and i just i really like it and i'm glad that i'm almost out because now i can break in to my full size so there is that and then last but not least and unfortunately you cannot buy this um i did look it up and it is the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I just feel like this was the, the, I had it in my makeup basket twice, or for two weeks in February. And I did use it a couple extra times in that, in the rest of the month. And I just think I would be lying if I didn't say, like the other one, that this was not my favorite palette of the month. Because I used it so much. Now, I, you cannot buy it. I looked on Urban Decay's website. And they do have it on there, but it says sold out, and which is kind of a bummer. Like, why wouldn't if they need to remove it? Unless they're bringing it back, I don't know. But then I looked up all the colors to see if you could buy them in singles because specifically this naked two color right here, I would buy in a single in a heartbeat. I mean, it is so gorgeous. And I want to say the only color, crap, and I can't remember. There's only one of these colors. Like it's just a perfect cool tone brown. Oh, so gorgeous. The only color, it's only one of these colors you could actually buy it in a single. The rest were not there. But they do have a lot of colors that are similar. So this naked two color that I love, um, if you got, uh, Buck is probably too dark. So naked, this is naked too. If you bought just naked, that would be probably pretty dang close to this color. But I just think this palette is so good. If you're able to get it, definitely try to pick it up. Maybe you can find it on eBay. Um, I definitely think it is a good everyday palette worth your money. I know it said on Urban Decay that they were selling it for $19. If they come back, I would definitely snag it up because it is really, really good. So that is my February favorites. Let me know what you've been using this month. Let me know if you've used any of these products. I mean, especially like this Olaplex. Um, I'd love to know if you've used that or the Misha BB cream and what you thought of them. I think that these were just really my standout six products of the month. Um, when I started thinking about what I used throughout this month, I literally didn't have to think much. It just, they popped in my head like, oh, this, 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 and this. Like it, they just were really, really great products that wanted me to use them. I wanted to use them <laughs> this month and I am happy to have them. Anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.